before the video starts if you guys have discord and you haven't already joined my discord that will be the top link in the description so go and join that if you want what's going on you guys it's me kill back there video and in today's video i'm back for some more pet training so yeah today i'm on my storm and since he's gonna be the next one i take up the promethean i figured i would make a pet for him so today i wanted to go for the same pet i made on my ice a couple videos ago which was triple damage armor breaker and galvanic but i already checked the kiosk and there's literally not many pets of those so what i'm gonna be going for today is triple damage and double pierce ideally i would want galvanic to replace any of those talents but like really i checked the kiosk there's like literally none of those pets so i'm gonna just go with what i can make and yeah so i'm gonna go and find the first pet i'm gonna hatch okay so we got this one right here this is like the closest pet i kind of have if i'm being honest because all i'm really trying to get rid of is proof i want an offensive storm pet so i don't really want proof on the pet like this pet would be all right if it just had another damage like that would be that would be what i want but like it, there's really none of those pets in the kiosk like i said like so many times already but yeah this is like pretty much the pet there's multiple pets of this in the kiosk i already checked so i will have multiple hatches but yeah i'm just gonna hatch with this one and yeah okay good it's available so yeah ideally i want this on a rain beetle because like the rain beetle cards are so good uh i think they'll be good for promethean i'm not too sure but like they should probably be good because they're good for most levels but yeah i'm just gonna train this one up the adult and see what it gets so yeah we're gonna train it up i do have some captain cantaloupes i i actually forgot to grab some snacks so i'm happy i do have some on my storm i'm gonna be transferring over my uh to me to my uh, balance later but like at least i have some already and that got piercer which is actually pretty nice i mean obviously i would rather breaker but it's okay piercer is not that bad uh as long as it doesn't get proof the first base should not be getting proof i really hope it doesn't get proof galvanic i'm actually down for galvanic like if galvanic stays in the pool i'm all right with that i mean having piercer on it would probably mean i would have to get armor breaker or if it just gets armor breaker and then double damage and i sock it on an extra damage like that would still be good but like i'm down to get galvanic like obviously i'm not gonna be hatching with any pets that have galvanic in the pool but if it just sticks there i'd be okay with it okay so i'm kind of scared this one's gonna get proof if i take the ancient so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna transfer this over to my life probably and i'm gonna hatch it again and then i'll probably end up taking that one onto my balance and just hatching that one again so yeah i'm gonna put on my life really quick okay so i transferred over my life and i found this pet i think i'm just gonna hatch with this one it's like literally the same pool well it's not the same pool but it's like it's the same talents that i want well, it's kind of close to the pool because that's piercer. I'm pretty sure that's breaker because that's where it was on my pet earlier. Giver, that could be giver. That's probably dealer. And I mean, that could be pain giver. Well, I mean, that. Okay, no, well, that could be pain giver, but I'm pretty sure that's pain giver because that, that's probably where it was on my pet. I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, honestly, the pools are pretty similar. Most rain beetle pools are pretty similar if they're for like the storm, of course, but like. Yeah, I'm just gonna hatch with this one. Okay, so I transferred the pet that I just hatched over onto my balance, and I got an energy elixir. So I'm gonna take this one up the uh, team really quick. Let's see what he gets. Hopefully, if it doesn't fail the team, I'm gonna take it to the adult. Storm dealer, that's nice. Storm dealer is really good. Hopefully, we get like armor breaker. That'd be nice too. Let's see what it gets at adult. How much? Oh, two more, I think. That's okay. Please don't fail. Piercer, that's all right. Piercer's all right too. So I'm gonna go and hatch it again with another pet that's pretty similar. Okay, I found this pet now. Pool's pretty similar. I mean, not in the exact same spots as everything was, but like, it's all right. It still has the same talents that I want. So I'm gonna hatch with that. We do guarantee get the rain beetle, which is good. So I'm gonna go and take this one up to a doll and maybe ancient. Okay, we're gonna take up the teen really quick. See what it gets at teen. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Armor breaker, that's a good start. That is definitely a good start. Let's see what he gets at, uh, at adult. Okay, it's about to be adult. Fuck, man. Critical hitter. You're joking. Um. Okay. Well, this pet's getting trashed. There's no point on keeping that. Critical hitter's not good. What I'm gonna do... Where's the pet that I just had? Not the galvanic one. This one. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna buy Perros, and I'm gonna hatch with another pet inside the kiosk. Okay, I actually think we ran out of Storm Beetles to hatch with, so I'm just gonna have to hatch with this one. It is still on a decent pet, like, I mean, I probably won't use any of these cards, but like, hopefully I just get my Storm Beetle back. I don't think I did. I'm pretty sure I got his. I don't remember the name, though. Okay, no, I did get mine. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. It's, it did have the same pool, so I'm gonna take this one up to Ancient, hopefully. Hopefully this one doesn't fail. Okay, so we're going to Teen really quick. Let's see what it gets. This is like an easy three uh, pet snacks. Storm Giver, that's all right. Obviously, probably not one of the better talents we'd want like right away, but like, it's okay. At least it's one of the talents I want in my pet. Uh, it's one more game, or like one more uh, snack away. Let's see, adult. 
Armor Breaker, that's good. Okay, I'm taking this one up to Ancient, because I feel like this one should be fine. Well, obviously you don't know because it's just pets, but like, I, I have faith in this one. Okay, it's one more snack away. Piercer, let's go. Okay, that's good. That's really good. So let's see this pet now. We got Double Pierce. We got Storm Giver. Honestly, we had, we had Storm Dealer. I think it was, well, actually, I don't even know. It was one of those ones. I know it was around Storm uh, Giver, and I think that one's Pain Giver, if I'm correct. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that one is. So what I'm thinking, maybe Self Hatch, or no, probably not Self Hatch. I think I'm going to hatch with the Kiosk one more time, and then take one of them up to Ancient and see what happens. So that then I have two Ancient bases. That would be all right. So I'm going to do that. Okay, I found another pet. This one is actually an interesting pet. I did have this on my Max Storm a while ago. I tried this out. That was like way back then though, like really old videos. But like, honestly, it's not a horrible card. I probably wouldn't use it much at uh, Promethean PvP, but it's okay. Hopefully I just get my pet. No, I got his pet. Honestly, it's okay. We're only taking this one up to Ancient, so if anything, I'll probably maybe epic this one first and see what it gets. But like... Hopefully this one just doesn't fail before it gets to Ancient. Okay, we're training it up to Teen. Please. Piercer, that's really nice. We're going to take this one up to uh, Ancient, hopefully. As long as it doesn't fail at Adult, I'm going to take it up to Ancient no matter what. One more snack. Storm Dealer, let's go. Okay, I'm going to take this one up to Ancient for sure. Okay, it's one game away from Ancient. Storm Gear, let's go. Okay, so this one has double damage Piercer, I think. Yeah, double damage piercer. So storm dealer is that one. I'm pretty sure that should be. Oh, wait. So storm dealer is maybe that one. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, it's it's one of those two. I know it's one of those two for sure. It's either one of those two, and then I'm pretty sure that one's pain giver. So what I'm gonna do is I think I'm going to. Where's my other one? No, my other one has galvanic or something, right? My adult one. Let me, wait, where is it? Yeah, that one has Galvanic. I don't have any other ones. Wait, I do. Okay, I'm going to take this one up to Ancient, too. Just see what this one gets. Because all the pools are pretty similar. And I'd rather have two uh, Storm Beetles at Ancient. So we're going to see what this one gets at Ancient. Okay, it's about to be Ancient. Storm Giver, all right. So now we have three Ancient bases. That's all right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take up one of them. I think I'm going to take up the Double Pierce one. That's the first one I'm going to take up. And if anything, I hatch my other two together. Like, if the one fails at Epic, then I hatch my other two together. And then I'll be fine. And I'll just take that one up to Ancient again. But okay, where, where'd that one go? Did I pass it? Okay, no, it's right here. So I'm going to take this one up to Epic really quick and see what it gets. Okay, it's one away from Epic. Please don't fail. Storm Dealer, let's go. That is a dub. That is definitely a W. Let me see. Um, what I'm thinking... I take I mega this one I think, I think I do mega this one, cause one of them, one of these are pain giver and I think the other one is galvanic, and I'd be okay with either. So yeah, I think I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I am gonna mega this one, cause the other ones I still do have other bases if anything. So yeah, I'm gonna mega this one. All right, we're one snack away. Hopefully this one just gets pain giver or galvanic. I'm okay with either of them. I'm gonna cover up my screen for this one. Pain giver obviously probably galvanic would. Uh, I don't know. I don't really know. Either of them's okay. I I think I'd rather Galvanic, but I'm pretty sure it's more likely to get Pain Giver, I think, because Galvanic was probably long gone in this pool. So yeah, I'm just gonna cover up my screen. Hopefully it gets uh Pain Giver. Please. I'm just praying. I'm gonna check my stats really quick. I have no idea what it could have. I'm just gonna look. Bro. Honestly, think about it though. I mean Eh. I I don't know. It's not bad. I mean, like, really, though? I feel like I'd have to get a Pain Giver Jewel for this to be somewhat decent. Because, like, Mighty... Mighty's okay, but I, Pain Giver's probably better. Um... Damn. That's, that's, that's tough. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna... Maybe I might... I think I'm gonna... I don't know. I don't have that many crowns left, though. That's the thing. I might hatch one more time between the two other uh bases that i have and then i'll just maybe mega that one I i'll figure it out okay so i'm pretty sure this is the last kiosk pet that doesn't have proof as a talent 
uh, that also has double pierce. So like literally, this is just the last chance. I'm hatching. I got my pet back though. That's that's pretty bog. I would rather my pet. So I'm gonna take this one up the ancient really quick, and then I'm gonna figure out. Oh, I don't have enough gold. I started with like 400k, and I ran through all of that. Wait, how much do I need? Okay, that's easy. I'll go and get that really quick, but damn, that's quick. Okay, so I just sold a couple of my killer tomatoes, but what I noticed is that now it says 999 plus. Like, I don't know if they added that as an update, but, like, it used to just, like, not give you any more of that snacks if you got it. Like, well, I knew that I was, like, over on the snack limit when I was harvesting my couch potatoes when it wouldn't give me back, like, the snacks that I needed. But now it just says 999 plus, so I guess that just gives you an unlimited amount. That's kind of cool, but, like, I'm happy that it does that because... Honestly, I, most of the time I don't notice for a while. But okay, I'm gonna take this this one up to um to uh, uh to teen really quick. I don't know why I forgot teen. Storm dealer, that's good. I'm gonna take this one up to adult too. Most likely the ancient if it doesn't fail the adult. Okay, it's about to be adult. Armor piercer, that's good. I'm gonna take this one up to ancient too. Okay, it's about to be ancient. Storm giver. All right. So this is literally the same pet. Like th that's literally the same pet. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take up the other one. Where's that one? And no, it's not that one. Like, I have the exact same pet. Okay, I'm gonna take up this one because this is the one I had earlier. So I'm gonna take this one up to Epic and see what this one gets. Okay, it's about to be Epic. Hopefully it doesn't fail. Pain Giver, let's go! Okay, wait. So yeah, okay, Pain Giver was in the spot I thought it was, I think. I'm pretty sure. Literally all this needs is Armor Breaker. This pet would be perfect if it got Armor Breaker. So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this one up the mega, and if this one fails, then I'm just done. Cause like I, I have like no more crowns left. I can buy three more energy elixirs, and I, then I won't be able to buy a pro. And I think I need to buy two more energy elixirs, so yeah, I won't be able to buy another pro. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take this one up the mega and hope that it doesn't fail. Okay, so it's one snack away from mega. Please, I need this to get armor breaker. I think, right? Hold up, let me check first. I'm gonna check to make sure it needs armor breaker yeah which is right there i pray i'm literally praying okay i'm gonna feed it the snack i'm gonna cover up my screen please say it got armor breaker i just want armor breaker i don't want this to be difficult let's check my pierce so that could be armor breaker because two plus three and then one extra from somewhere i don't know where that one extra would be from um i don't well i don't know what changed bro you're kidding you're kidding proof man that's just annoying like okay no imagine if this had armor breaker instead then it would be okay but piercer i don't know this just isn't that good you know if you look on the bright side i made a pretty decent pet here that one's not even that bad if you think about it like i mean with this meta you don't really need the crit because like your the 32 extra crit isn't gonna isn't gonna be really the difference between like your crit multiplier being uh that much of a difference or if you're actually gonna crit on somebody so like honestly it's not it's not good but it's not that bad like i'll take that and then i still do have two ancient bases like i have this one and i have that other storm beetle which is that one so like literally it's not even it's not like i'm not in a bad situation like if i want to come back on this pet all i have to do is hash this one out with another one bring that one up to ancient if it doesn't fail i just take up uh this one over here and then literally i just keep repeating that process pretty much and until one of them doesn't fail but yeah honestly it, it wasn't that bad today we made some fails but like the pets weren't that bad of fails like as, lo as long as it didn't get like a selfish i'm okay with them but i mean proof on a piercer pet like if that got oh my if that got armor breaker i would have been so happy but yeah i'm gonna end the video off here I'm kind of sad. I spent 3k crowns just to make a bunch of fails, but it's okay. There, I mean, one of them wasn't a fail. I already said that, but like, you know, I'm still kind of mad. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, then leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.